Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, is a Primark haul, which I am so excited about. I went in looking for summer stuff, because as you may know, at the moment I am on holiday, and I found some really, really good bits. So, without further ado, let's jump into the bags. Also, if you can hear, it is absolutely blowing. Well, I'll say blowing a gale, because that means it's raining. It's not raining at all. It's so bright and sunny. But it is so windy, so every now and then you may hear the wind and my letterbox banging and... Yeah, it would be a lovely day if it wasn't windy, but never mind. And hence, hair situation, because I've been out today. So, yeah, but anyway, let's jump in. First thing I got is very boring, and it is a black vest. You can't go on holiday without buying some quite black vests. They had, like, none. Like, this is a six, and I'm not a six. I can just about do this. I'm going to use this as an evening vest when I want it to be a bit tighter. So I'm going, I know I said I'm on holiday, obviously I'm not, tomorrow is a week till I go, confusing, so I'm going the day before into town to get sun cream and things like that, so I'm going to pop into Primark and hope they've got some white and black ones, fingers crossed. They never have white and black ones in my size, it's mental. So yeah, black vest, fingers crossed I have more soon. Also, side note, lighting changes. I'm too lazy to put my lights on, so I'm using natural light. And the clouds are slowly coming in, so I am looking, looking at myself. Not as bright as I could be. I'm sorry. I'm too lazy. Next up is one of my favourite things. There's two favourite things. This is one of them. I saw this on someone's primary call and I was like, oh, I need to get that. But you know when you always see something on someone's primary call, you never can find it. Never. I found this and I might have squealed a little bit. And it is this a bit close to the camera it's this this says love the beach life i absolutely oh, love this it's got a little watermelon on it and then the back is open which i think is really cool i adore this i got this a size bigger than what i actually am which is fine because i thought the size 8 looked really kind of short small and i was like oh. so i love that this fits absolutely perfect i'm so glad i got a size 10 instead but I absolutely love this and I like tried this on with my jeans and I thought I can wear this when I get back on holiday too so I'm so glad I like I like this so glad I got this and this was £6 the vest, I'm really bad at same prices was £2.30 which is bloody expensive for a Primark vest but I love this, oh, so good next up is something I think I actually showed in my last Primark haul so I'll quickly show it again because I saw these today so they've still got them and these are these pineapple shorts everyone's gone crazy about pineapples pineapples are everywhere it's like, I love pineapples first. I liked pineapples years ago. Suddenly everyone loves pineapples. Oh, I'm bright now. Hi. Um, pineapples are literally everywhere. They had a pineapple top, which I quite like. So if they have that next summer going, I might buy it. But yeah, these are £4. They still have them. I love them. Bubbles in the bottom. Awesome. Next up is something I didn't necessarily buy for holiday. But again, I saw this on someone's haul. And I loved it. She had it in navy blue, but I got it in the red. And it is this top. I don't know if you can see it that well. It kind of just looks like it's merged into one. But on the side, I will try this on. I will say this now. I will try it on. Because I won't try it on unless I say I'm going to try it on. So I'm going to try them on. Um, it's got this pleat in here. And yeah, it's just red. Little keyhole at the back. It's just really, really pretty. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to take this on holiday. I might just wear this on the plane. I'm not... Too short. I like dressing up when I go on planes. <laughs> Everyone goes in like tracksuit bottoms and like loungewear, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm dressing up. Not heels. Like people that wear heels on plane are mental. But I like dressing up. Like I wear a pair of jeans and a nice top. But I really like this, so I might, I may wear this on the plane. And this was eight pound, which I thought was a complete bargain for how detailed it was and all the pleats and so yeah, absolute bargain for eight pounds. Next thing I got was a dress. I saw this on my first Primark trip tried it on but didn't get it and I'm not 100% sure why I didn't get it because I did quite like it but I didn't get it and then it's kind of I went and saw it again today and they had barely any of my sizes left so it's kind of like a I need to get this because they're not going to have it next time so it is this dress wow it looks neon orange on the camera it's not as red it's quite cool in neon orange but it's really not it is practically the same colour as the last top it looks orange I'm <laughs> I don't understand how cameras work. I don't understand this. But anyway, yeah, so it's this red dress. It's got a little 
flappy bit there over the boobies. And then it comes to just about your knee. Like I said, I will try all this on. What I like about it is it's got an adjustable strap there. So I think that's why I didn't like it. When I tried it on, it was a bit too... What was wrong with it? I think the back was too low, so you can see my bra strap. But I can make it smaller, so I, I don't know why I didn't get it the first time. But I really like this. And this was only £8 as well, I think. Yep, that was £8, absolute bargain. And again, this is red, not orange. I don't wear orange. <laughs> Next is a set of pyjamas. Little rant coming on. Why does Primark have to, in their pyjamas and their underwear, make it a 6 to 8 and then a 10 to 12? I am an 8 to 10. 10 to 12 is a little bit big, like I brought a pair of 10 to 12 pyjamas for and they're too big, they're too baggy. But 6 to 8 is a little bit snug, so I'm like, what do I do? So I got the 6 to 8, and I'll be honest, I'll be lucky if I fit one of my thighs in it. Look! Look! Seriously, I know, you know it's stretchy, but I haven't tried these on yet, so I'm hoping they fit. They're really cute though, look at the little lace. I love these, I just hope, fingers crossed they fit. But I love these, these were, I didn't even look how much they were, these were £4. Let's see if they fit. And then to go with it, I've got this little vest, which if they don't have any normal white vests, I might have to buy these instead. But these feel quite nice quality actually. Again, this is in a stupidly tiny size, and this is £2.50, so it's more expensive than the normal vests. I don't understand. But yeah, I've got that to go with them. Next up, I've got a pair of denim shorts, and I'm getting to the age where I don't want my arse on show when I'm wearing shorts. One, don't have the most amazing arse, or legs. Two, let's leave that to the 18-year-olds that have got the perfect peachy arse, perfect abs, perfect legs. So I got these. These are, let me do them up, because I've obviously tried them on. I've tried them on so many times, like, I took a 10 into the change room, because I'm like, I'm never going to fit this ass onto an 8. And they were comfy, but because they're high-waisted, they were big around my waist. I've got quite a small waist, and then huge everywhere else. I've got child-bearing hips, as my mum would say. Um, but yeah, so if I pulled them down, they fit perfect. Then you have a saggy crotch, and no one wants a saggy crotch. So I got the 8. They fit, they're a little bit snug, after a couple of burgers, they might not fit, but I do like them, I just can't really sit down in them, but that's fine, I will just, my aim for these is to wear floaty tops with them, so when I do sit down, and I get a severe muffin top, it doesn't matter. So these are these shorts, which I really like, they're all distressed, and you've got buckets on the booty, and I really like these were £10, these were £10, I do like them, they still have them in today, because I had a little look. And they did them in black as well, which was a half tempted by, but I may next time. Because I've got a lot of tops. So I need to wear shorts. But these are the only shorts I've got, because like I said, the other ones, I tried them on the other day. I wore them on holiday last year, and they were fine. I need to move you down, because I'm getting a backache. Hang on. Alright. Um, I wore them on holiday last year. They were fine. This year they don't do up. Yeah, awesome. I've put on weight. So, I like these. I may get the black pair. Who knows? Next up, I got a bikini. I was so disappointed in Primark bikinis. Like, every year, Primark has a stand-up bikini. And you know what? I've seen them on Primark calls. I know they have them. But the one I go to just didn't have them. Like, this person bought this gorgeous uh, swimsuit. I'm not a swimsuit person, but it was gorgeous. And I was like... But they didn't have it. I'm half tempted to go to the one in Croydon because it's bigger and they might have it, but it's excessive. I've got enough bikinis. I don't need another one. But they had a couple of really nice ones that I've seen online, on hauls, but mine just didn't have them. So it seems like the trend for this summer with bikinis is to have, I don't know how you describe it, like an extra piece of fabric over your boobies, like flopping, like this. You see? Like this. Mother half completely doesn't understand. He's like, why would you hide your boobies with a bit of fabric? Men. Just don't get fashion. But this is the bikini I chose. I love the colours. My only wish was you could take off the straps. But never mind, I do really like it. It's nice and summery, and this was only £4, which is a bargain. And then the bottoms are these. Cut out scare me. Oh, hello. But, it works. Like, I got a size that fits me. Bits don't come out. Awesome. But I like this, and I really like... I'm going to have really, really like, strange tan lines, but... Oh well, I like them. Next up is the favourite thing from everything. Yeah, favourite thing from everything. I 
love this. Are you ready? Me loves this. It says mermaids have more fun. Oh, it's so cute. This was five pounds. It's obviously a bit cropped and then the back is like a ladder. I love this. This is awesome. Like literally favourite thing from the whole entire haul without a doubt. I will wear this when I get back. I will rock it. I absolutely adore this. This with them high waisted shorts is going to be, and that bikini as well. Amazing. Favourite thing. I'm done. Next up, another beach top. I got this. This is kind of like an Aztec inspired vest top sort of thing. It's longer in the back than it is the front. And I just thought the colours were beautiful on this. Like so summery and springish. And I love this. This was £6. And I just thought, again, this would be really nice with a pair of denim shorts. I'm half tempted to see if I can get a pair of like not high waisted denim shorts because this with the high waisted one looks a bit weird because it's too much fabric. Like the high waisted with crop tops would be awesome, but with the longer ones, it's just a bit weird. I'm also half tempted to wear this on the plane home because it'd be nice and comfy to sleep in. But yeah, I've got this and I do like this. And now on to shoes. I've got a pair of these because you can't go on holiday without a pair of cheap and dirty. Uh oh. Oh, it rubs off this time. That's classy, I wasn't doing that on camera. Um, cheap pair of. Uh, oh god, this has gone downhill quickly. Cheap pair of flip flops, these are a pound just to wear around the pool. Leave them there and not care about them. The next pair I'm really undecided about, and I'm I think I'm going to take them back. I'm not sure. I didn't try them on. I don't like trying sandals on in the shop, mainly because I'm wearing trainers and I have to take trainers off and then take socks off, and then you have to try and put them all back on, and then you can't put your socks on properly because you've got jeans on, and it's just ugh. So I bought these, and they are so, so pretty. These were just £5, and I almost bought the nude pair as well, but I was, like, being restrained. But I just don't... I don't like the back. I don't like this around. I wish it was just a strap minus this. Does that make sense? They are so gorgeous, and I'm going to... I think I'm going to give them another go, because I really like them. I thought they'd be nice at night. A little bit, like, classy sandal than... Don't know... I do like them, but I, I think I may take them back. But they are really, really pretty. And the reason why I put the nude ones back was these. And I know everyone hates these, but I kind of like them, and I don't know why. I've always wanted a pair of Birkenstocks, but never could justify the money. Like, I was on a pair of Havianas, but I can't justify spending £25 on a pair of sandals like the pound ones. I just can't do it. I really like these. I don't like, I kind of wanted these to wear around the pool, but because it's kind of velvety inside, I think it would kind of go a bit funny when you've got wet feet. But I really, really like these. They're kind of scratched, but that's fine. These are only £4. I like them. They did them in black. They did them with thong ones, and I just really like these. They're ugly as anything, aren't they? But I love them. And the last thing I got from Primark is going to be blooming hard to show you, so it's the good dub barn doing try-ons. It is this. Oh. You can't see me anymore. Hello. This caftan. It's gorgeous. It's for the beach, obviously. I wouldn't wear this at night. Oh, I'm bright again. Hello, sunshine. Um, I love this. This was meant to have little... um. What's the word? I want to say poofy things, but that's not the word. What did you make with your nan? You know when you wrapped it around your fingers and then you cut it and become pom-pom? It had like this pink pom-pom thing, but I lost one of them. So I took both off. It's fine. But I absolutely love this. This was £6, so not bad for a Primark caftan at all. And I absolutely adore this. I think this would be really cute. Go into lunch, be air bikini on underneath, being like, hello, yep, I'm classy. I like this. I think this is really nice. They have some really nice caftans in, so go and check them out. So that was it for my Primark haul. I've got three things from other places, so if you don't want to watch it, thank you for watching. But there's three more things which are quite exciting. The first thing was from Boohoo, and it is these shorts. These are just £10. Absolute bargain. I absolutely love them. They've got these random little things, some embellishment around the bottom, and I just think they're gorgeous. I absolutely love these. So they're cute. This stuff I will try and link down below if it's still available, because these are selling out quite fast, because they featured in a Zoella Boohoo haul. Boohoo haul? Boohoo haul, so obviously they're going to sell out so, so quick. But I absolutely love these, so these were £10 from Boohoo. The next thing I got is from ASOS and it is this 
bandeau bikini. This was in the sale, which was an absolute bargain, so I don't think this would be available either. But check out ASOS if you need bikinis, you don't spend too much money, because there's a constant sale on, and I'm like, awesome. I ordered three and only kept one, joys of ASOS. It's really, like, I've never brought cup size bikinis before, I always buy kind of like your standard 8 to 10s or whatever they are. So this is my actual cup size. And I brought two others, also cup size, and they didn't fit me, and I'm like, okay, random, this one fits. I like this, I'm not a big fan of the bottoms, because they are bloody massive. I'm always scared of bottoms, I always kind of go, I wouldn't say size up, because I'm probably an 8 to 10 on my bottoms, I'm probably more towards a 10, and these are 10, but I wish I brought an 8 now, because they are ridiculously like granny pants. So these are going to be my bottoms when I'm feeling a bit fat. And it's a shame because I do really like the top. I think the top's really pretty. The strap comes off, which is awesome because I like that. It's a little clasp at the back. But yeah, this is in the sale. It was no more than 10 pounds for the whole bikini. I just wish these were a bit smaller. And the final thing of this haul is the biggest bargain of it all, including the Primark stuff. And it is this maxi dress. It's completely see-through, so it is a cover-up. Online it doesn't it doesn't look like it's see-through, but it is. Which is a shame because it's a really, really nice evening dress. But it's okay and it's completely to the floor. It'd be easier when I show it. <laughs> it's got slits there and beautiful like embellishment down there, which is absolutely gorgeous. I really wish this wasn't sheer because it'd be so pretty. This is $16.99, which you may think, well, that's not really a bargain, Kelly. That's not bad. A bit late now, but during January, there was a sale, which was £15 off anything. No minimum spend at all. This was £1.99. Amazing. Oh, when I saw that code on Facebook, someone posted it, I was like, what? Loved it. I got this for £1.99. I had to pay post and packaging, but heck, who cares about post and packaging? £1.99. Awesome. So that is my Primark haul and a couple of little things done. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, if you've done a Primark haul, please tell me down below because I love watching them. Like this month before I went in there to look at some of the stuff, I have literally been searching every day for March Primark hauls and I've watched so, so many. <laughs> like literally, I don't know how many, but loads. I'm into well over like double figures, probably like 20, 30. So if you've done one, please comment down below and I will go and watch it. And yeah, I will see you next time for another video. Bye.